Hello and welcome back to Two Brunettes in Baltimore. I'm Lauren. And I'm Tara. Welcome back for another episode. We're back, baby. We're back, baby. <laughs> recording on a sunday I know, this is crazy so I we just know. posted and then we're here recording now we're here already yeah so exciting i know so how was your week was it a whole week no no only like yeah well almost i don't know anyway like <laughs> i guess the bulk of my, what happened was this weekend i went to dc to celebrate zoe's birthday that's so fun um, happy birthday zoe i know <laughs> so exciting um but it's on a wednesday this week oh right and so or this year so she was like, okay, we'll celebrate the weekend before. Um, we went to a Two Friends concert oh, on yeah. Friday. And then on Saturday, we all just went out. We had like a huge grill master. That's like her so roommate fun. literally grilled the best really? stuff. It was like her first time ever grilling. She put it all together, like oh my got God. all the supplies. It was awesome. Um, but we had such a good weekend. Oh like all God. Zoe's friends came. Um that's so fun yeah her high school friends came down from new york they're both both living in new york and then obviously like me the literally kindergarten <laughs> best friend which is crazy yes. to think. yeah like and i know you have one too yeah we've been friends for 18 years 18 years sounds so long it's crazy it's almost two decades yeah 18 years is insane that's insane so like for me i was just like oh my gosh i feel like zoe has so many friends from so many different places and i'm so happy to see yes that they all show up for her in the most amazing way that's nice and it just like really made me a happy friend oh, knowing she had all these good people surrounding that's her so nice. but i was just like oh you know like Aww. like she's good she's in good hands over yeah, there yeah that's good um, but we had a really, really fun weekend. How and was like, the con? So, like, did they do like the big booty remix? <laughs> what did yeah, they do? So, like, they th- it was at Echo Stage. Okay. Honestly, I don't really know much about them. Like, I'm okay. not a big Two Friends person, but it was fun. That's so um, fun. Her high school friends are like super Two Friends people, okay. and her one college best friend is too. Like, super funny. Um, she was like on their Instagram. What? When I went to Indiana, so so it was like really funny. But, um. They went on, it was at Echo Stage, which is like still in DC, but like kind of like on the outskirts. Mm-hmm. And they went on at 12.45 a.m. What? Yeah, it was crazy. That's and like, why you were there so late. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like it was a late night. Um, And like funny story from that night, I ordered, like everybody was just trying to order Ubers at the same time. So I ordered an Uber and a Lyft. And I typically do this. And I don't know why I thought we got into the Lyft. Because he had a sticker oh, for both. No. One Uber was on the front and Lyft was on the back. Oh, so I thought no. that we got into the Lyft and I canceled the Uber. As soon as we got in the car, I canceled <gasps> it. And I was sitting in the front seat and he's like, you just canceled the Uber. Oh, and I was no. like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. He was like, do you have Zelle? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, got cash out. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I yeah. Thinking. And I could have totally lied because he was like, how much how much was the uber and then he was like just do five dollars more i was like screw you i could have said like thirty dollars yeah whatever um but it was super funny because i was like damn and then they were like like you're so fast like you're so on top of it i was like I'm like well i didn't want us to be walking home yeah i didn't want him to no. kick us out of the car he was so nice at about like it. what time did you even you got home at like five no no that was last no last night our uber I, we checked this morning last night our uber was at 3 3 a.m oh okay okay that was so bad oh because God. they got food after oh yeah damn mm-hmm. that's late it was late <laughs> but we were well, up until five somehow oh my gosh like we were just powwowing but it was a fun night. that's the best yeah. though when you just like yeah. have the energy and you're just up so late mm-hmm. how late did you sleep today like not late i woke up at like nine or eight oh, no. or something because our friend like had to go to work at seven and he like we set the alarms too on his phone and they weren't mm-hmm. they didn't go off oh no yeah so he missed so his he's like a manager he's in like a hospitality program right okay. now and the host called him and that's how he woke up what? an hour and 15 minutes until the time he was supposed to be there oh my god crazy that's um, stressful <laughs> yeah but Zoe, I think, had a really great weekend, that's and that's all good. that matters. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Aw. I know. How was your week? It was good. I, what did I even do? I worked after we recorded, yeah, that next day, I think. Yeah. Um, went out on Friday, and then I worked last night. 
yeah um because oh, it was I like was a sad. one-on for like i don't work tonight thank god yeah um it's technically not my weekend but it was like one of the shifts i switched with somebody mm-hmm. um and it was a good shift yeah. good yeah good i was imc but i only i we didn't have a full imc mm-hmm. like assignment so i had it pretty chill like my my flap check patient went to every four hours mm-hmm. oh, at good. like 8 p.m so i didn't have to like she wasn't even imc anymore and then i had another um guy who was imc who had like a fall but i let him like i was really trying to let him sleep because he was like tired and so i just cluster everything i was not even like i feel like i only went in his room like a few times and he was like so thankful because he was like i want to get sleep yeah um that was it i had two patients all night that's amazing and it was so nice like it was a breeze yes that person's probably upset that they switched with you yeah probably (laughs) and like he's probably gonna have this like my assignment tonight Mm -hmm. but who knows because it's gonna be other probably Mm -hmm. new patients and stuff so yeah it was it was a good one yeah but my last night shift too. I know. Oh, we got to celebrate. It's done. That. We have to celebrate <laughs> Let's that. Let's take a sip of Literally. our wine. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> That's so funny. It's kind of crazy. Like, I'm so happy. I know. That you were able to switch because. Oh my God. I was talking to some other nurses I know and, and like at other hospitals in different cities and they were like, yeah, we don't really get a choice. That's see, that's, that's like a lot of places. Yeah. Like I got lucky and like I probably could have switched sooner too um but i wanted experience in both Mm -hmm. shifts but now i'm like so excited to just like and like everybody that i was talking to last night they were like this is so exciting for you like you're going to feel just like better as like a human yeah (laughs) like you're actually like awake when everybody else Mm -hmm. is and it's like sad during the summer having to sleep during the day and you're missing yeah. like the nice days. So And then like all you see is darkness. Right. Because it's dark in your room and then you go to work and it's dark. And it's dark and like Especially you know. in the winter too. I know you were just saying it sucks in the summer, but like Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, winter. In the winter is bad when it's too. like I mean, I guess day shifts in the winter though, like you're going to work in the dark, in the dark. and then you're leaving in the dark. And it's kinda yeah, that's very true. Yeah. It's similar with night shift though, even, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Because, like, the sun... I don't know. Yeah, you're going yeah. to... And, yeah. That's the... That's also bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully, I could just be dazed forever. Yeah. I mean, I think when I go to, like, other units, things might change because mm-hmm. it's not the same people and everything. Yeah. So, like, who knows if I'll be able to be straight days in the future. But at least for the next few months, I, I am, know. which Good. is so nice. Um, yeah. That's and awesome. I'm so excited for you to It's be crazy. Dazed, like... Yeah sleeping today i was like this is my last time like sleeping out like during the day after a shift because then you like sleep your day off away a little bit i didn't sleep that much today though honestly um just because i don't know i had you have more energy when Mm -hmm. you know you have off i feel like but um yeah so that was pretty good and then i'm on i work like every day this week yeah um so i know it'll be a little crazy but it'll be worth it because then i leave for florida on saturday yeah. oh so that's so exciting the day before this wait, comes out wait. yeah <laughs> so you i'm have- there now <laughs> <laughs> right you have to um explain to the pod yes like what you're doing so i'm going with my mom so we were supposed to do this trip last summer mm-hmm. um and w- our family friends her it's like her friends from her one friend that she used to work with when she was Mm -hmm. younger um him and his husband they live in this like super nice house um in jacksonville florida like his backyard literally looks like an oasis oh my gosh i love it it's like so beautiful Mm -hmm. um and he wanted so like my mom and him were like best friends because they worked together when she was like in her 20s and they knew each other for like i don't know for the past like 20 30 years probably um and last time i saw him was well he said to my mom the other day he was like i haven't seen lauren since the 90s and she was like lauren was born in 2000 oh my god that is so so funny. i think i saw him in like 2003 like yeah. i was like two or three um so yeah like they, you don't remember him no you ever, like facetimed with him or no like, like you like, don't know him no like and i oh, know this like is i so exciting i know and like 
his husband's so nice too and and they're very like his husband's very into cooking and like i'm really excited to just yeah. like have a whole like week in jacksonville and like i've never been to jacksonville yeah. so it'll be fun to like see that oh you know area but, yeah so we we're supposed to go last year and then they got covid like the day before our flights right i don't know why in my memory yeah. it was that you guys got covid no they did and that's yeah. when we were like where should we go like and we ended up just going to charleston yeah, so for fun. fun um and then we were going to go a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago um and then the c-section had to yeah. be early the baby came. so the baby <laughs> um <laughs> so then we were like but like it worked out because all i had to do was switch like one shift i'm not even using pto mm-hmm. it's just like i have these days off and we'll be there for like six days i think um so yeah it's crazy and we're we're staying in like a little hotel room like right on like the ocean i'm pretty mm-hmm. sure right That's on the awesome. beach yeah and then their house is like not even far um and we're planning on like doing things with them every day um and yeah going to the beach yeah. a lot just you're gonna chilling. come back and tan i hope so That's really so. i'm fun. just excited to go with my mom yeah. too it'll be like nice for us just to mm-hmm. kind of get away <laughs> yeah that's so fun yeah i'm so, so excited to hear all about it and you're there for a long time it is it's like five nights and yeah. and i think you know it's definitely going to be because i work like back to back before the vacation and mm-hmm. then after so it's going to be a little hectic but it's going to be worth it yeah. i just have to have that on my mind yeah um yeah so yeah that's awesome crazy that's so exciting. exciting i can't wait well you start your job tomorrow i'm like so, the Sunday scaries are hitting the hardest they've ever no. hit because I, I'm really excited and I'm so grateful, but I also am just like N- nervous. I mean, it's, it's normal to be like, no, not nervous. Like oh. I just don't want to work again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, I've been loving this. Yeah. I've been gallivanting. I've been doing what I want to do. That's like my day. when I have like way too many days off in a row yeah. like when i had off the week the baby came going back i was like no i can't do this yeah. and that's how i'm gonna be after this vacation yeah, exactly. and it's like same vibes that it's giving off yeah i'm i just like i know i'll be fine and i'm excited yeah like i'm just so i thought happy. you were just saying because you were nervous <laughs> but i'm happy that me and kg are going together that's yes. the only thing that's gonna be nice. through this like i i don't know We'll see how it goes. It's nice that you can know somebody that's like starting with you. Also, because like we have to go through orientation together, like all the trainings. It's nice to not have to do that stuff alone. Right. Because then it just feels like so overwhelming and like, yeah, there's so much information being thrown at you. Yeah. And like, I know that if I have a question, like maybe if I miss something, I'd be like, yo, KG, like, did yeah, you catch did you, that? Yeah. Before I have to you go can, like, sound help stupid. each other and like share, yeah. share and, notes and Like, I don't want to sound like I didn't listen to something or like yeah. just because I forgot one small detail. So and what, I know that's so minimal and people probably don't care, but it's like one of those No, things. but it, it makes sense. Yeah. What time do you have to be there tomorrow? 8.30 sharp. Okay. And so I was trying to figure out, like, do I want to do a whole new daily routine because it is a 30 minute drive. Right. So do I want to work out in the morning or do I want to work out after you work? back. It like depends. it's hard. Like I personally, like I love like working out in the mornings because right? then you get it, it done and up. it wakes you yeah. up. But you know it is nice during the summer even especially to like sleep a little later and yeah but my thing is is that i'm so tired from the weekend and i know i'm gonna be exhausted in the morning but i think i want to make it a morning workout really tomorrow i mean it's good it's good it'll be good you should just go to you should just go to bed early yeah 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 and i think i'll be able to yeah so we'll see how it goes (gasps) i'm excited to update the pod because we're also recording next week's episode yes, tomorrow tomorrow so so we'll be able to kind of hear that first day you have yeah. to give us like a routine from the first I know, day i yeah. want to hear all the details yeah. so i'll tell you what i end up coming up with and like yes. what the whole deal is but it's also interesting too because at my last job it was two blocks away they would cater or like order we would order lunch yeah here i have to bring my lunch so my my whole thing i was like i texted zoe i was like zoe oh my god i need help i was like do i bring a lunchbox to work (laughs) like yes do i bring for food i always bring like like, it's so funny i have a lunchbox it's cute it's from marshall's (laughs) um it has like little it's like a little almost looks like a honeycomb design but it's like gold and yellow um and my go-to what's like easy for me is like 
I'll either bring like leftovers from dinner the night okay. before. A lot of the times I'll do like, if I have like multiple shifts in a row, I'll do like salad kits. Mm-hmm. So I'll mix up the salad kits and then there are multiple portions. So I'll like put oh, them in each container smart. and then I'll keep the dressing on the side so it doesn't get soggy and yeah. I'll just bring salad. Salad kits are easy because then you could just put like, like my big thing with like adding protein to yeah. it is just getting like a veggie burger and oh. putting that in because it's easier yeah. than making like chicken and That's things. That's smart. I don't know. Like I just find that to be nice or I'll do like chicken sausage. Um, oh, sausage. I didn't even think of yeah. that as a protein. There's like really good ones from Trader Joe's that are like pre-cooked chicken sausages, oh. different flavors, and you can just put them on the stove. Oh my gosh. Um, you want to go to Trader Joe's tonight? <laughs> like, honestly, maybe. <laughs> um, no, but yeah. And then I'll also, another go-to lunch I like to bring, because I need, like, something that, something that doesn't feel too heavy. It's, like, healthy, yeah. but there's also, like, substance. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to make, like, wraps. Yeah. Like, oh, put, like, hummus idea. and veggies and, oh, like... That sounds so good. Like, cabbage and just, like, get so it's just like yeah. substantial yeah. and then i i mean with 12 hour shifts i always try and pack like a bunch of snacks too yeah. um protein bars are my go-to Wait, this all sounds really good yeah so this is helpful is it yeah yogurt like yogurt protein bars just like extra things to yeah. have um yeah oh my gosh thank you <laughs> of course the wraps is a good one like a yeah wrap. a wrap like the wrap will make you like a little Satisfied. bit more full yeah yeah, yeah definitely and then and, having like a side yeah like i'm a snacker too yeah so like i don't want my stomach making noise no. and i know it will and like it's just good to have something to just like if you just need a little yeah. pick me up yeah like especially if i'm getting a little tired yeah yeah because i get or tired you, could, I, you know do you drink like celsius or anything no, no you don't drink, yeah. you don't drink any caffeine i forgot I yeah. just water just, have Remember? <laughs> just water In the first episode is like i just drink water <laughs> No. that um, is so funny water and rosé right um no this is exciting i know it's I kind of it's to fun expect. to like start a new routine yeah because i feel like if i really like i have to start the routine on the first day or else yes. i won't do it you know you're inspiring me to because i have like i work tomorrow but it's only a four hour like skills day oh um and i I literally they haven't sent out the time yet. Oh, I think it should be. I was told by other people at like 8 a.m. or okay. something. Um, and I'm like, maybe I should work out before. Yeah. Just because then it's done. And then exactly. I can have the day to like prep for my actual yeah. shifts and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, the other thing, this is so funny, but I was like, what do I do with my hair? Like, I feel like I have Stop. to do my hair. You should do like, you should curl it. I know. But then I'm like, oh, that's like. I have to wake up even earlier. Yeah. Because I used to literally walk there with like half wet hair. What about like heatless curls? The ones, do you have the like but satin I never, thing? Like I have to shower in the morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you could do a body shower. <laughs> True. But my hair gets so oily. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Baby yeah. powder. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's kind of funny. I'm like, <laughs> this oh my gosh, I have so many things I feel I think about. bad that because like we have to do, we have to do the pod tomorrow again because i'll be gone the whole yeah. week but i feel bad because it's your first day I know, but i'm excited to be able to tell the pod like, yeah first day excitement whenever like, you want to, want to do it like yeah. we could do it right after work yeah. or if you want like a little time yeah. whatever i'm so works. excited though oh my anyway. god that's yeah. so fun it's gonna be a good day like all yes, the things it is yes the good energy um, you know i'm feeling the good energy for this summer yeah. like and now that the weather's clearing up oh it's so yes nice this week turned around it was supposed to be yes. rainy i'm like so glad yeah it's just it makes everything so much better yeah wait so this weekend zoe was showering before we were like getting ready to go out and me and her two high school friends were sitting out on the couch and just like talking and we just hear music coming from the bathroom and we're like what is she playing and it's like it's a perfect day oh my god whatever and like it's been stuck in my head (laughs) all weekend now and i'm like i'm gonna play that on the car like in the car on the way to work because like i need to be manifesting the good i'm about to play that yeah (laughs) (laughs) like and it's such a good like upbeat song so i was like okay that's so true yeah that's a good one i was just like because i feel like I'm really happy that I have a job again. Like, yeah. And course. I wasn't like super bummed that I got laid off. I think that my friends were more like 
is trusted about it than me yeah like your reaction was like oh my gosh yeah and i was like okay you were like what's chilling. next i'm yeah. like all right and um so like and i've been enjoying this time not working mm-hmm. so i feel like i i'm not like negative about the fact that i'm starting but i'm not like excited okay so i want to really get excited yeah make it like, like fake it like I first it. day of school vibes like yeah. tonight like pick what you're wearing oh, yeah. and oh, like i already have my outfit picked out oh my, what is it it's like <laughs> green like little dress pants Cute. from Abercrombie, of course and then it's this tank top like white sweatery tank top that has like little pearls cute and then i don't know what jacket to wear do you need jacket so i guess just, maybe in just the to office. like have something um but i think like something white or like yeah. green colored that's cute. And then I'm going to go with sneakers. Yeah. Like, they are very casual there. That's good. So, like, KG and I were like, what do we wear on the first day? <laughs> like, I'm going suit and tie. I'm like, yeah, right. Like, you would suit hate to tie. wear a suit and tie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, we're going, like, a little bit. I think he's wearing dress shoes. Like, elevated and casual. And I was like, can you please just put your sneakers on for me? <laughs> like, I don't want to be the only one wearing sneakers. But fine. Like, I guess I'll have to wear heels another day. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm like. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Do you have, like, a specific high from the past week? I Low. think just celebrating Zoe. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Oh yeah. No. Like, I mean, there were, like, minimal things. It was so hot in D.C. Oh, okay. Um, like, humid. D.C. Yes. gets, like, this D.C. hot humidity. And it was yeah. starting to... It's not, like, fully there yet, but it's starting to feel like you walk outside and you're just, like, sweating. Yeah. yeah. I – it was humid on Friday night when I was out. Like, I felt like my hair yeah. was, like, getting big. Yeah. <laughs> my um, hair was getting big. But, yeah. My high, low-key, was this eyelash lift and tint. Yeah! Oh, my gosh, she <laughs> got the eyelash lift and tint! I'm so happy yeah. with it. Like, yeah. I went to the same girl Tara goes to, yeah. and – And she's so nice. She's so nice. Also, it's so nice in there. I know. What the hell? It's so fun. Like, it's so nice. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be, like, so vibey. Yeah. And it smelled amazing. Yeah. Um, But, yeah. And it's crazy how, like, curled they yeah. are. Lauren was like, they're like this. Like, they're literally like this. this. And, like, I got, you know, I washed my face after the first 24 hours and, like, like put a towel on and they're still like so curled yeah. i'm like she's like what if they just stick straight out <laughs> like what happens <laughs> i'm like they won't yeah. but oh it's my so God. fun i love it i know that's yeah. my high it's gonna be addicting yeah. yeah but especially it's so nice in the summer yeah and like for you with work like it's just easy yeah it's so easy because yeah. even without mascara it looks good yeah, but exactly anyway any yeah. lows lows um I don't think so. It was a pretty solid, solid week. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> Should we get into our topic? Yes. So happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> a little early, but it's in yeah. a couple days from now. Mm-hmm. Um, we can kind of get into our routines, what we're doing this 4th of July, yeah. just all of it. Yeah. So you're starting work i guess right before a long weekend because you'll have off fourth of july yeah but nice. i we're only off on tuesday not monday and tuesday what because fourth of july is on tuesday oh is it yeah oh yeah that's weird like that's kind of isn't weird. it usually on a monday no i no, can't always Lauren. be on the same day <laughs> <laughs> there are some holidays that are like that though wait i'm so <laughs> dumb i was thinking memorial day yeah. and like labor day yeah. never mind never yeah. mind no that was um, that was that a, was so funny. That was a bad moment. That was really that was funny a though. night shift slept for three hours a moment. Yep, that <laughs> so was. Um, but no, so like yeah, I have <laughs> the one day off that week. Okay, but yeah, I'm excited. I don't really have. Yeah. I don't like know what my plans exactly are gonna be. I kind of thought about going to DC. Thought about going yeah. home. Thought about staying here and just getting tan because I haven't been outside in so long. Yeah. So I think I exnade the going home because it's on a tuesday Mm -hmm. and i don't know if i'll have to be in person on monday right just because like i'm new and like all the trainings um and then i thought about going to dc for the day so he was like oh lauren should come to dc for fourth of july i was like oh she's actually gonna be away i pulled out your schedule and i was like (laughs) wait hold on she's away (laughs) like i'm sad Uh, i know we need to do that i know we need to do that you guys like both really want to meet each other yes honestly i really really want you to take off that one day for my birthday (laughs) what day it's is so it again bad. the saturday but it's saturday in between three it's a three-day shifter i don't care 
No. I'm going to do it. No. Don't, <laughs> don't feel pressure. But I just want you to meet everyone. I have I, I have to. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe they'll be overstaffed and call me yeah. off. We'll see. Yeah. That's what I was hoping um, for. But no, that's that's yeah. fun. You should mm-hmm. go to DC. I know. I think it'd be so fun. And I would just train in. Yeah. yeah. So it would be and nice and easy. You don't have to worry about driving and yeah. everything, especially with the holiday. Yeah. Also, because they're moving out of the apartment building and into a house. So I don't oh. know what the parking situation's like. Oh but my god! Yeah, fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. nice. I know. What are you up to? Well, you're uh, on your yeah, yeah. So it's it's kind of fun that we'll be in Florida for Fourth of July. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I heard Jacksonville can get like crazy during that time oh, that's too. Awesome. So it'll be fun. We'll probably like go out and things yeah. and. Like her, uh, like my mom's best friend and his husband and everything. They're like, they seem very fun. Yeah. <laughs> and like, they're down to do whatever. Yeah, that's um, awesome. They're also vegan. and Oh, no way. So we'll probably be eating like pretty much vegan when yeah. we're like at their house and everything. So I'm excited to yeah. like branch out more with like the vegan yeah. foods and stuff, <laughs> even though. Not. Yeah. But yeah, it, it'll be fun. And they have some, they have dogs too. I think they have two dogs. I'm pretty awesome. sure. Um, that's fun so yeah i don't know exactly what we're doing like that day but we'll be there so yeah. it'll be cool and awesome. hopefully it's not too humid but yeah. florida's always so humid so I know. we'll see but at least you'll be like by water right yeah oh so it shouldn't be too it's bad. gonna be like a swimming vacation like yeah. i, I want to go under the water yeah. in the waves yeah. like i know and now that you have your curly hair routine it's all yes good. i know it's not like curly right, right now. now but it's her hair we need to talk about that her <laughs> every hair week curly routine is doing so well it is and every week you're like we didn't bring it up i know um, because it was one of your goals no yeah it was and like i since i just got my hair cut it's helped so much yeah. because it got like the ends are where like the heat damage is the most and it's finally like bouncing mm. up like it's very Good. it's pretty curly it's like so curly the other day at work um whatever day that was thursday or whatever Everybody was like, oh, my God, your hair looks so cute. It's so yeah. curly. And I was like, I know. Like, You're like yeah, it's finally so- getting back. <laughs> yeah. So it's um, nice because, yeah. you know, it'll be – I'll probably, like – I don't know. I was debating if, like, I, I think I'll just probably go there with my natural hair and not even, like, try doing yeah. a blowout or anything because it's going to be so humid anyways. I know, yeah. And it's like, might yeah. as well just vibe. Yeah. It's going to be so fun to just swim around. Like, I'm so yeah. excited. So just, nice. <laughs> I just love going anywhere. Yeah. So. It's so fun to have like a Oh my god, I do want to like go shopping more for this trip though, which is like bad. Yeah. And I've been doing that for my beach vacation. All that right there. I have to try when I just oh got my it. Oh god. It's, From where? Abercrombie? I don't, no, I don't know how to say the thing. It's like I don't even know how to say it. It's a French okay. or Australian? Oh, okay. French, I think. Is it Wait. I'm like Monnier Duvar. I'm oh, okay. so butchering this. <laughs> like, I've never actually read the name. <laughs> Wait, you're literally dressed for 4th of July in a navy romper. I know. Well, I wore this in D.C. this oh, morning. Was that a dress or a romper? Romper. Nice. I was wearing it in D.C. because it was my last outfit that I had left. It's cute. I like it. And I was like, oh, it's so hot. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's very 4th of July. Anyway. Anyways. Anyway, let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. We're so chit-chatty. We're very chit-chatty yeah. today, which is good. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Because then hopefully we'll be like this tomorrow. Too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll only um, have like a one day recap tomorrow, but it'll be an interesting day. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so what should we get into? Should we talk like, about our life? I want to hear about what you used to do as a kid. Yes. So we, I used to love like summer holidays when I was yeah. younger. Not as much as like Christmas and everything, mm-hmm. but it was always so fun because we belonged to this like pool club Mm -hmm. near us and like everybody like so many people from the town went there it was always so fun when we were little Mm -hmm. because you would see your friends and then the parents would sit together and then you would get food and they would have like movies playing at night and like we would just swim all day like it was so fun so we would usually go there when i was younger um like pretty much every weekend of the Mm -hmm. summer um and even like weekdays like if i was like older Mm -hmm. and could like walk there or whatever or like with my brother whoever like was like wanting to go yeah when my parents were at work but that was like a big tradition we had and they always had like games and certain things on those holidays Mm -hmm. too so like it was always packed Mm -hmm. and crazy like people like the whole parking lot would be full and then like even more on the grass Mm -hmm. like it was always insane um but then kind of later years maybe like past past like five to well i guess 
I feel like we would do that when I was like pretty young mm-hmm. and like we still belonged to the pool club until I was like early teens I think Mm -hmm. but um also ever since I can remember in like recent years we always would go to Alex's house um because her family lives like two minutes from our house that's so funny (laughs) so and they have a pool so we usually go there on like fourth of July Memorial Day Mm -hmm. Labor Day um and then it's like always her family and then my family and like we'll bring my grandma yeah. and like everything and so it's always been fun i don't know if what alex and them are do- well she's probably she's in school and everything yeah. like and they don't get like super long breaks or anything yeah but um yeah that was always fun another thing when i was in high school like our big high school friend group yeah. would always go to like there was like a few people in the friend group that had like pools mm-hmm. growing up but like i feel like everybody we would always go to alex's on like fourth of july and yeah. be all extra and wear like our like oh my gosh. print like yeah. the bathing suit prints of like yeah. the american flag yep. and like yeah oh and her stepdad does like fireworks too oh, i love it in her backyard yeah. so he would do that um and it was just always yeah. so fun. There's also it. like fireworks at our like middle school in our town that people oh, could go to. Yeah. I always forget that like every town puts on yeah. fireworks. It's always fun. Like, cause it's like so yeah. just summer and everybody's I like know. tan like, and enjoying <laughs> the enjoying day. Fireworks yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. But what about you? When we were younger, we used to go to South Carolina. That's fun. Um, and then once we got a little bit older, my older and younger brother would both go to the sleepaway camp. Mm-hmm. That was in the like fourth of july week oh nice so we'd stop going to south carolina and then i was the only person home so i would always do something with my parents Mm -hmm. but in south carolina we would do like a day at the pool and they would have like all these fun games like you know like contests like they would put stuff at the bottom of the pool i remember they would do for the adults like the little um shooters at the bottom of the pool like the most people get it that's funny and then for kids they would do something else Obviously, I was a kid. I don't even remember what the prizes were. <laughs> what part of South Carolina? Kiwa Island. Okay. Yeah. I've never been there. It's like kind of close to Charleston. Okay. Um, And then we would go and they had this like 4th of July festival at like on one of the golf courses down there. Um, And it was like huge. There were games. There were fireworks, food. Oh like, my God. People walking around on stilts. It was so fun. And I would go in like a Lily Pulitzer like fourth of july dress every single year <laughs> like, it was so funny <laughs> but i loved it we all had such a good time um and then like once we stopped going i would always do fireworks with my family that's fun. so at our old house or they used to do fireworks at our high school and our old house it was like two minutes from the high school oh, so we would either nice. watch from the cul-de-sac or we would go out to like the sod farm <laughs> like <laughs> literally jersey court sod farm. like what um, we would go out to the f- little farm and like sit and a lot of us would like just That's go nice. and watch. Um, but yeah. And then, oh, one year my parents and I, cause of course I was the only one, we went to like Jersey city, Hoboken area and we watched the fireworks. They would like put them off that in the Hudson, is... but we would get to see the New York skyline oh. in the back, which was so cool. I on love side. Hoboken and like that yeah. whole area. That's definitely that was good really, for really like fun. 4th of July. Yeah. yeah that's cool yeah. that's cool um but no it was always a really good time i feel like fourth of because fourth of july is so close to my birthday oh so it yeah. felt like you know big celebration and another big celebration and like growing up fourth of july was like right when you got out of school mm-hmm. like you just got out of school a couple of weeks ago you're yeah. like freshly into the summer mm-hmm. like it was such a vibe it was so fun yeah yeah that's so cool it was like always such a good feeling to be like celebrating all. yeah but yeah, I think that those bathing suits are so funny because like, they are. That is so true. And it was like, like everybody had the red, white and blue bikini. Did you get the ones from Target? Because there was yes. always like so Target many different styles. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Like it was so it was just too much. And then for our like senior prom, like we would go away like for like after prom. We never did mm-hmm. like a beach weekend or whatever. Yeah. We did. Well, beach. We, we did do beach junior prom, but senior mm-hmm. prom, we went to the Poconos. Yeah. And for some reason, we made, like, our party themed, I guess. I mean, I think other people do that, too. But um, We would always do that in high school. Yeah. Like, party themes. Yeah. yeah. And that one was, like, red, white, and blue mm-hmm. themed. So I had these, like, 
flag kind of like jean shorts from yes. that I wore senior year. So yeah. then I would always have those yeah. for fourth. Oh my gosh. Or like, like football games were always themed and there was yes. always at least one fourth or not fourth of July, yes. but like USA theme. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so That's American. opening memory lane. Like, yeah. It's oh so my American. God. Yeah. So weird. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Um, yeah. I don't know. And I feel like we can kind of get into like Baltimore things yeah. people can do yeah. now. Um, I've never had a 4th of July here I, and, and I won't even be here. One. But um, I'm interested to hear like, did you ever do anything here? I haven't yet. And I was hoping maybe I'd stay just so I could do something. Yeah. Um, but they do have fireworks right on the harbor. Oh, nice. That like, I know a lot of people come down to go see it. Oh my God. Um, like, I don't even know. We can keep it rolling, but I just want to see what's on yeah. this. Yeah. I um I wonder if the people that are working Fourth of July out on my unit will see the fireworks from our unit because you can see like the harbor from oh, yeah. and like I remember Grace worked on New Year's Eve and she saw like fireworks from, from work um at midnight and everything. But yeah, we have like these two links that kind of talk about yeah. Baltimore things. Let's see. Let me see. I want to see what they were. Um, yeah, we might need to cut this part. Yeah, no, we'll cut okay. this part. Um, Cherry Hill Arts. Live and performances. Um, should I just start saying a couple things? Yeah. Okay. Um, it says here that, so you're talking about the inner harbor and everything. Yeah. So it says it'll, the festivities will start around like three for anybody that wants to go. <laughs> Cause this will be before yeah. 4th of July. Um, and then it says the stellar 13 minute firework display will go off around 9 15 PM, but they have food activities, DJs, performances, picnics, like all this stuff. Um, it looks so cool. Street performers, attractions. That's so fun. Yeah, that's so fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to do it next year. I know. <laughs> we'll both have to be here. Um, and I think that there's like a couple other things. I sent, th- sent them to you if you want to look real quick. But there yeah. are a couple of other events. There's one like the Cherry Hill. Yes. Um, what is it? Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill Arts and Music Festival. Mm-hmm. I think it's annually on the 4th of July, oh, which cool. is really cool. Cool. And it's like music, oh, like vendors, things like that. Oh, that's cool. It's talking about like culture too. Yeah. Music and artistic culture, especially the plethora of African-American creatives moving the city forward. That's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. God. You know what I wonder? I bet Guinness has something. Wait, look. For families and other, speaking of our episode we posted today, yeah. it says for families and others who would like to get the celebration started earlier in the day, AVAM, no way, the museum we just went to is holding their annual pet parade and animal talent show. Stop. What? No way. What it time? Says, it says 8.30 a.m. pet registration begins at 8.30 oh and then gosh. the parade begins at 9 and it says pets of all kinds are encouraged to enter. That is so I'm fun. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. That's so funny. Wait, I love that. And then it talks about it says the Baltimore Museum of Industry also has a front row seat to the fireworks. Um, let's see. Wait, that's awesome. That's so fun. I'm so excited. Oh, there There's so many events going on. It's, I see something about at Fort McHenry even. There, there's probably so many things to yeah. do. Yeah. I'm so excited. I yeah. get to like pick from so many different options. I know. Yeah. You should like try and do multiple. Like yeah. you could like do a little here in the morning and then yeah. go to DC. Or, I know. Is there anything? That, this is so funny. AVAM pet parade. I know. I kind of want to do that. That? <laughs> I would do that if I was here. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> like there's clearly so much to do and so yes. much to pick from but it's i'm so, so excited fun, yeah i don't think like i don't know i always forget like you could do so much on these holidays yeah. like I, I just was like fourth of july yeah. but I forget yeah. that like there's like all these activities that are I set know. up all around yeah so oh my fun. god you know what we used to do as well like before the whole south carolina thing we used to go to my pop-up's house uh-huh. and they had a parade there oh my god and we would go watch like we would walk from his house where up did to the he parade. live 
in Milltown. Oh, okay. Um, and then like they had like by the co- community pool, like they had oh, really? a, a whole event set up for kids and families and whatnot. That's and so then fireworks fun. In the afternoon. That was like one of the best memories as a oh, kid. Oh my god! I totally forgot about that. I know. I feel like things pop up and I'm like, oh my, like I forget. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I wonder if Evan and Kayla are doing anything with Celine. Oh, yeah. Dressing her up in a little yeah, outfit. Oh my that gosh, would be I'm so sure. cute. <laughs> yeah, that is so cute. Oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway. That's so fun, though. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll keep everybody updated on what we actually decide to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which will be, like, a ep- couple episodes from now. Yeah. But we'll let you know. Um, mm. Or catch up with us on social media. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Either one works. <laughs> Both of them is Both. better. Yeah. Anyway, it was a good episode. Good. Nice chit chatting with you, and hope you guys all liked. It. And Listen we get me. to record tomorrow I again. Know. <laughs> I'm so excited! Oh, that's so yeah. funny. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, and listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. I hope you have a good week and stay positive and happy Fourth of July. Yeah. Cheers. And cheers. <laughs> Bye. Bye.